Right guys, I'd like to welcome you all to the P100D, my first ever drive in a P100D. The inner V8 American car guy in me should hate this car, but I don't think I'm going to. As you guys know, I've already driven the Model X, but unfortunately at the time, I didn't have free reign to play with the car. Now I have free reign to play with this thing. Ludicrous mode is gonna be engaged. So first thing we're gonna do, I want to experience what a sub three second, I don't know, 2.5 to 2.9 second Tesla is like, not 60. We're gonna try the autopilot. We're gonna just enjoy this thing for the time I have it. I want to experience the fast of the electric movement that's happening. You know, the car guy in me wants to see how fast this thing really is. Right, let's do this. Okay, so you guys know the gist of these cars. The P100D is the best one they sell at the moment of the Model S. This one has an array of fantastic standard features actually all the way across it. But you guys have seen the reviews, you have seen what these cars are capable of. I now want to experience it for myself. I want to scare the living crap out of myself in one of these things. Firstly, a massive thank you to Tesla themselves for actually giving me the keys to this car. She is fully charged with 284 miles on the range. Let's see if we can alter that, shall we? Let's see if we can really bring that charge down and enjoy this thing. Okay, so engaging ludicrous mode, it's already engaged just up here. You have chilled, sport, all of that good stuff, but we are gonna start with ludicrous mode. I wanna see how this thing goes. I want to experience what this is like. So, got this camera on, ready to watch the speedo. And three, two, one. Oh my God! <laughs> That was, not, what, 0 to 60 in two and a bit seconds? This camera will be able to show that. Two and three, two, one. Oh my God! <laughs> that is so fast! Right, let's turn around and do that again. I wanna do that again. How have they made it so fast? That is, I, I am so impressed. Wow, that is honestly, Look how far, oh my God, it's so fast. Look at the speed, oh, it, it, no wonder it's digital, it can't bloody keep up. It's, it's mad to me, the instance of power. The power is literally, we're going. There is no messing about. This camera would have picked up how fast that speedo picked up. So fast, like so fast. <laughs> Model X I drove wasn't that instant. Ludicrous mode is actually ludicrous. I've had to actually press a button saying, yes, I want this to happen to me. I definitely want this to happen to me. You've got to realize this is the future for the car enthusiast as well. Stuff is gonna start changing. I'm so glad that Tesla have done something like this where they've made a car enthusiast car for the mainstream. You know, you take it out of ludicrous mode, it's comfy, it's quiet, heated seats all around. But on the other hand, it's ticking a box in my head that is for me realizing that the future is safe if cars like this exist where they're taking electric power and making a car faster right 30 mile an hour 40 50 60. that it not you i can't argue i could argue the fact that that's probably one of the fastest cars i've ever driven but it's it's so like unassuming it's unassuming because you don't realize how fast you're going until you look down. That was 30 to 60 in what? Splits literally a second. And your supercars and stuff, like it's, it's the awe of the sound and the, and the mighty noise from a massive engine. And I am sold on the idea of silly big engines and the noises that come out of them. But the fact that you're able to actually produce 
such crazy power through something that's not supposed to be fast. Like the fact that this is so fast is so funny to me. Like I think it's so funny that they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll just make it fast. Like 670-ish brake horsepower at thousand foot pound of torque. A thousand foot pound of torque in these. That's a considerable amount in any sized car with any engine, but the fact that it rolls around like it's nothing, the fact that it comes on power, battery, boost, whatever you want to call it, is mind, it's so fast. <laughs> my face literally goes like that every time I put my foot down. If the future is this fast, I'm well welcoming in the electric car. I, I am opening it, my arms to it big time. The fact that this sort of stupidity is a reality today in 2018 sells it for me. It sells the idea that the future is actually going to be all right. We are going to be all right. Fast cars are still going to exist. Silliness is still going to exist. 30 to 60 is still going to exist like this. <laughs> We're sat in traffic look at this interior it's so minimalistic so futuristic as well massive ipad style screen in the center you've got this beautiful display in front of you showing you know i've got my sat nav on at the moment but sat nav this side big sat nav in the center you've got all your controls down here heated seat button is literally just there as well so you can select your ludicrous mode quite easily there see right there that's what we need stalk wise you have the autopilot system uh, just down here flicking it towards you and away from you for on and off uh, you have the rake of the steering wheel you have wipers you have the gear stick which is actually this side it isn't in the middle at all it's a very american -y style -y thing i think personally having the drive as a knockdown, neutral in the middle, reverse, and then park. There's a little silver button just on the side there. Very cool inside though. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber in an electric car. Just here, down here with drinks holders as you wish. Alcantara on the roof line. Alcantara here, look, look, it's padded, it's padded. And sunroofs as well, just there. Another thing to point out, armrests. I'm a big fan of armrests, I think we all know that cup holders here and cup holders here you could have many drinks in this tesla it's good stuff it's just you could sit in here and just in the ambience of nice materials quietness refinedness and knowing that you're not killing the planet so you could still have your big v8 muscle car you could still have your skyline r34 gtr sat at home that's appreciating value like a rocket so as you're sat in your traffic jam as i am right now not using any of the eco layer that you want to use on your r34 gtr or your 1966 coupe de ville ride height so let's go because we're in traffic let's go low it just dropped the car like it's just stanced itself out as standard standard feature stanced out this makes complete sense to the daily driver and the car enthusiast as well because you would have this and then have your silly car at home but this is a silly car as well but it's practical so it's all right <laughs> I'm gonna, enough of me talking about how fast it is, right? Comfort level, way up there. Yes, do not get me wrong, the price is way up there as well. But what you're getting is a futuristic, cheap to run, very, very cheap to run. I've been boosting it constantly for the past, what, 45 minutes, and we've gone down 10% of battery. That's it. And I've been really trying to just just enjoy the ludicrous of this car because that's what it is you can take this from the daily driving ease of having a car that is comfortable spacious well equipped massive ipod in front of you i just oh just fast it's just fast very very fast indeed 
<laughs> Silly noises are coming out of my mouth. 30, 40, 50, 60. 30, 40, 50, 60. And like, it's a slight disorientation to me as a, a V8 lover and, you know, a lover of cars that make silly sounds. But once you actually get to enjoy this for more than half an hour, say, you actually become accustomed to it being rather quiet, especially when the second you put your foot down, you are forced into the back of the seat. You are gonna get whiplash in this thing, big time. You could literally drag race anyone off the line on this and you will definitely win. There is zero traction lost as well, which I don't know how it's doing it. And it's slightly raining now as well. How is it doing that? I can't believe how fast it is. Okay, so engaging autopilot, that's the next thing. Because something very disorientating about me um, not necessarily taking my hands off the steering wheel because that's not really the idea of autopilot. You literally pull this stalk just down here towards you twice and we're away. So feet are off. As you can see, it's taking complete steering control and it knows it's 50 mile an hour, so we're doing 50 mile an hour. And I know in a minute a car is going to start braking, so I'm just going to cover the brake. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. It's turning, it's turning, it's turning, and I'm not turning it. Oh, how is it doing it? It knows exactly where I am and what's going on. It's just driving itself. It's drive, look, it's driving itself. I'm keeping my hands on the steering wheel and my foot over the brake because I I love technology, but I'm still so scared. I am so, so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. It's turning. It's, it's turning. It knows what's going on. The fact that you can let this thing drive you. Yes, keep your hands on the steering wheel. Yes, keep your feet next to the pedals. But it can actually do that for you. What are my overall thoughts? Well, the idea of this being the future, because that's what this is. I'm driving the future of automotive fast. This is what it is. When, you know, the oil runs out, and everyone needs to drive, needs to drive, you know, being a strong word, electric cars. Tesla, to me, are at the forefront of the car enthusiast. They're actually taking in mind that, yeah, we're all saving the planet, it's fine. But why don't we have fun while doing that? Why don't we make it fast? Why don't we, because we know that the batteries are instant. We know that the power can be delivered so quickly. Why not make use of that? And that's what they've done and I love them for it. So guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I basically just wanted to go and enjoy what Tesla have made for the car enthusiasts. The car enthusiasts in me wanted to know full well what crazy was happening with the electric car market. Now again, massive thank you to the guys at Tesla for showing me the future of motoring for the car enthusiast, because it is still here. The car enthusiast is still much at heart when it comes to the electric market and i can't thank them enough for showing me especially the way because you know me being a huge v8 fan and an old school american car fan that's the cars i love turbocharged cars the japanese market i love that sort of stuff but if it all means that that has to be tucked away one day and we are driving these cars around it's just as well it can rip your face off so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all on the next one. Cheers guys. Ah! <laughs>